Guys, if you're on Facebook Marketplace trying to sell your car, please clean it. That's number one on the list. Today, we are gonna be talking about how to sell your car on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna be listing the Mercedes for sale and I'm gonna show you how I do it, what needs to be done, and then actually how to list it and put some tags on um, and get that thing in front of everybody's eyes. So, so before we put this thing up for sale, I gotta replace this body panel. I just got this thing painted um, it's all cured up. So we're gonna throw this on the car first and then uh, we're gonna clean it. We're gonna take some good pictures and then we're gonna post the ad. all fixed okay so fenders back on <clears throat> now it's time to go take some pictures so pictures obviously if you're gonna get the most for your car you have to have good quality pictures um, don't take like vertical pictures with your phone and then post it on Facebook because that's not gonna get you sales and pretty much any camera or work like any of the new phones have incredible cameras so get your camera out take landscape pictures and make sure they look good. Also, don't be that guy that edits the crap out of their photos and it's like super contrasty. Don't be that guy. Alrighty, next up, put the car in a good looking location. I got mine sitting right there. We're gonna take some pictures um, and yeah, I'll kind of show you what to do. Alrighty, so you got your pictures taken, you edited it just a little bit. Now it's time to actually post them on Facebook. So once we're posting them on Facebook, basically you can just drag over and put the images um, inside the little box. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. And then it's time to start writing the description. Before you start writing the description, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff to start checking off on the side, just to highlight what your car is, what does it have, what kind of features are on the car, things like that. So make sure to fill out every single category you can. When it comes to the little features like Bluetooth or backup camera, make sure you check those things. When it comes to the mileage and the condition of the car, make sure to fill all that stuff out too. But for all the options and extra goodies, I actually have 43 selected. I went through and each one I selected if my car has it. Um, and that just shows you how many options that you have. Cause some people like to sort through this. Some people like to, I mean, buy their cars to make sure it has a backup camera. And if it doesn't have a backup camera, they won't buy it, which is pretty crazy. Once you get through all that stuff, um, make sure you just fill everything out correctly. And then you're gonna make your way down to the description. The first paragraph I would say is just make sure it's something basic info on your car and, and something that'll stand out just a little bit. Looking at mine over there, I can see I have one, two, three, maybe four paragraphs total that I've written. Just like a basic intro and then the second paragraph just kind of lists what the car is, what's on it, and the features because everybody wants to know the features right off the bat. So I put all that right in the top of the paragraph. Some of those little things that we checked off, like the more important ones that usually aren't on other cars, I like to put that there. So the big panoramic uh, sunroof that I have in my car, I'm definitely gonna throw that in there. And the red leather interior. A lot of cars don't have that, um, so I'm definitely gonna put that in there as well. And then I just went to say it's a seven speed auto, it's a 5.5 liter V8. Kind of give a description on why you're selling the car if you want to. I think you can relate to the customer a little bit too and it doesn't leave it up in the air of, oh, well, I wonder why they're selling this. Even if you have it priced kind of low, um, you wanna get rid of it quickly or if it's priced really high, People wanna know why. Make sure to write the condition of the car if there's anything wrong with it. If you've kept up with all the maintenance and have receipts, make sure you state that too. You wanna to make this car sound as good as possible, honestly, but without being dishonest. You wanna be honest in your ad. After you got the whole entire description read out and you checked all your boxes off, you can go ahead and just post it or boost it. Usually I boost it for about $15, $5 for three days, um, just to reach a little bit more people. I think it helps a little bit more just in the first day that I posted my ad on the Mercedes. It's gotten about a thousand views. So that sums it up. 
pretty much about how to sell a car on Facebook Marketplace. It's really not that hard. It's not too complicated. Just gotta make sure you check all the boxes off and do everything that's needed when it comes to selling a car. If you have like that dealership kind of mentality when it comes to it with taking good pictures, writing good descriptions, and then including anything that's needed about the car, you will have really good luck when you're selling it. But that's gonna be all for this one. I hope to see you in the next one.